Good morning guys and welcome to this week's vlog. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just really excited to be vlogging this week. I haven't vlogged in such a long time and I have missed you guys so much. Obviously I have been still uploading and stuff but vlogging is just differently. I feel like we connect better. But yeah, I took a bit of a break from it because yeah, I've just had quite bad anxiety to be honest. For the last three or so weeks i think i've been just doing so much thinking and and i just kind of drive myself crazy almost and i find that when i have anxiety it has such a knock-on effect on things like my confidence and normally i'd say i am quite confident my camera is slowly slipping here we go yeah i don't really do much self-comparison i'm always quite like strong-minded and that's just kind of slowly gone downhill the last three weeks but i've kind of got to a place now where I'm feeling so much clearer and so much better. I've actually um, started speaking to a therapist as well. Well, not quite yet. I had a meeting with her yesterday and she was my therapist I had when I was 18 years old. And when I was 18, oh my God, guys, I'm really sorry. I just realized I've gone full on into the deep end in this vlog. It's not the most lighthearted start, but just thought I'd get it out of the way. Yeah, I had it when I was 18. I had really, really bad anxiety very bad social anxiety and just general anxiety as well. I had like some bereavement issues that I was working on and this therapist, honestly, she changed my life. She was just the most incredible person to speak to and she's so intelligent and she just really unraveled so many deep rooted issues that I had and just helped me so much. And now I'm at a bit of a point in my life where I feel like I've got all of the pieces. So I've got um, a job I love, I love all the relationships in my life, my friends, family, everything. And I feel like a really good place to invest my money is into therapy and just working out, just working out certain anxieties and things like that. And I used to just feel a bit silly because I'm so aware that I am incredibly privileged in so many ways. So I felt like going to therapy for such minor, minor issues in the grand scheme of things it just felt really silly. But I do believe that the more you work on yourself, the more you can help other people and make the world, not the world, but kind of the world around you a better place. And yeah, I just feel like I'm at a good point in my life to start something new and something a bit more challenging. Um, I remember when I was 18, she would ask me the most difficult questions. Really, really made me think about myself and the way I do things. So. I'm really looking forward to getting that started. But yeah, I just thought it was worth sort of saying all of this stuff in today's video, just to remind you guys that things aren't perfect and I don't ever want to make them look like they're perfect because to me it's obvious everyone's life isn't gonna be perfect. But I'm also quite aware of putting out content to you guys that is happy and like brings, and that just brings just a bit of an escape to maybe something that you're going on in your life. And so I'm just quite aware or what I put out there on the internet, but at the same time, it's obviously really good to be honest about these things and hopefully I can maybe inspire some of you guys to take a step towards bettering your mental health or just your general well-being. Um, anyway, today's a super busy day. Um, this morning I had an event with the beauty chef. Um, they're the little powders I use in my smoothies every day and it's really, really good for like your gut health and like detoxifying and stuff. So they had a new launch today. So I just joined them on Zoom, which was really fun. And then I'm going to the dentist because guys, 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 today is the day I get these two really annoying, discolored old bonding teeth off. And that means it's the final step of my Invisalign journey and oh, i'm just so excited these two teeth honestly i can't tell you how much they annoy me and distract me in my own videos i think you're only supposed to have bonded teeth on for maybe like four years ish and i've had these on for maybe 10 which is terrible maybe even more yeah about 10 years so they're coming off finishing everything i'll take you guys along with me and yeah just i don't really know whether to do like a dedicated invisalign vlog or put it into this vlog I'm not really sure yet. I might ask you guys on my Instagram. And then after, straight after the dentist, I'm going straight to the stables. I'm so happy because I haven't been horse riding in so long because obviously we haven't been allowed to and they finally opened back up again. So I'm gonna go for a beautiful hack in the park, which will just be amazing. And it's such a beautiful day outside today. So very, very excited for that. I feel like it's Christmas today. It's currently 9.30 and I need to leave at 10.30. So that gives me a bit of an hour 
to sort things out. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Quick outfit of the day. I've got my Everlane sweatshirt on. Um, these are the Amazon leggings. I actually picked them up in khaki. Um, ignore this. This is um, Depop stuff. And yeah, these are the Amazon leggings that I always bang on about that are literally the same as Lululemon, but for like a fifth of the price. So I think they're about £20 and they're just incredible. So I got them in khaki because I think it's quite cute and spring, summer. And I've just got my standard on trainers on as well. So I'm at the dentist and we're just going to do some before and after photos. Yeah. Yeah. So it's there. Yeah. Can I open this? Oh, ah, thank you. Number four? Yes. Yeah. Right. That's it. It's going to be so we've taken off her old bonding. We've got some what we call peg laterals here, which is what Kate was actually born with. So her teeth anatomically came through like this. Um, behind it, you can see her retainer. So what we're going to do is rebuild the teeth out to give them slightly better shape and size and balance. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to do today. Everything looks very dry right now, though. <laughs> so I'm back from the dentist. I'm trying not to show you guys my teeth too much so I can show you properly later. Um, it's been a bit of a rush. Oh God, please do not fall. I've just quickly got changed into my Holland and Coopers because I'm going horse riding. Okay guys, so it's now Friday and I've just got ready and I'm finally gonna show you my teeth. I cannot wait, I'm so excited. Yay! Oh my God, I love them so much. I didn't want to show you guys properly yesterday because I was like looking gross and I was about to go horse riding. So I'm gonna show you properly now. Oh my God, so perfect dr k is an absolute wizard i'm honestly so so happy with them i'm going to put up a before on the screen and then an after on the screen as well so you can see properly um i also did a whole like q a over on my instagram and i've got like a discount code over on my instagram all of that um it's not an ad or anything like that by the way guys um and i don't get any sort of commission it's just to help you all out so i think i'll do like a proper like sit down at the end of this video maybe go through some like things from a to b and about the invisalign process or should i do it in another video um i'll have a think about that today um but yeah they're literally so good so obviously all invisalign and then these two here are the bonded teeth and I actually saw the teeth underneath these two for the first time in 10 years. Which is so weird because I've had them bonded since I was like 13, 14 years old. Because after I got braces with the NHS, they said to me, um, they purposefully kind of left a gap around these two teeth because they're very small. So um, they left a gap on purpose to get my teeth bonded. But yeah, I'll go through everything at the end of the video. So I'm going to shut up now. I have got ready for the day. I actually didn't vlog yesterday because I'm so up and down at the moment, guys, and I don't know what it is. I'm just I'm on a bit of a roller coaster. I'm feeling quite good today, though. Um, it's a really beautiful day outside. B and I are going to go take some photos. Um, I'm obviously really happy about my teeth. So the first task of the day is to film a reel. I'm going to be doing like a rating top top jeans kind of thing um, over on my Instagram. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys a little behind the scenes. This is the setup so i've got b helping me she does like the pause play kind of thing i've got my tripod ring light mirror so i can see what i'm doing welcome to this week's vlog these ones ready okay we're going to go what are you feeling what are you saying these ones are Oh, these ones are going to be just like a solid 10. <laughs> <laughs> just because they're black jeans. 10, 10, 10. Yeah, they are nice. They look quite expensive, those ones. Yeah, and they're a really good fit too. Are they mums? Yeah, these are mums. Good morning guys, it is now another day, again I didn't vlog yesterday, I've just been quite bad for it this week. Um, it is now Saturday, B and I are just going to go jump in the car and take some photos, get a coffee, go for a walk, we're going to do a car chat, we haven't done that in forever and I know you guys love them and we love filming them so that's going to be fun. I'm wearing a colour as well, don't know if you've noticed, this is the first time I've worn like a bright colour in forever so um feels weird but it's very cute it's a shirt from new look i've now got this in stripes white 
and blue. So I'm obviously a big fan of it. Guys, we invested in a car tripod. Sorry, who? V did. It was my Christmas present. Now I don't have it. The camera falling over every two seconds. I hope. It was very professional. I feel like we're on a TV show. Yeah, it's quite cool actually, isn't it? Yeah. I like it. It looks like Spy Kids. <laughs> you always talk about Spy Kids. Yeah, I really liked that one. Did you ever watch it? No. Yeah, you really missed out there. Yeah, we saw two fit guys in the building that we've never seen a fit person in our building before. So we're going to set me up with one of them. No, we're not, because actually one of them plays... No, we like a boy yeah, who plays I golf. I know, I don't know how to describe it. It's a good sport. Like, it means that, you know, they enjoy their leisure time. Um, they have a hobby. They have interests. Oh. They have a skill. Well, we don't know if he's good at golf. <laughs> <laughs> Set you up. Anyway, we're not going to set me up because I don't think they're my type. It's just nice to look at, you know. Um, yeah, they were quite like posh. Posh. Yeah. Nothing wrong with a posh boy, of course, but oh no, darling, type. nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> just not your type, is it? No, 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 no. I no. like a bit of rough round the edges. <laughs> 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 Did see a foot boy in the, on the tube though the other day, and. And I just was reading my book and I looked at him and then he looked at me and then I read my book again. And then I just kept going. And then I got off the tube. It's so nice, isn't it, when a boy smells really good? Yeah. Like it it's is. such a like. Deal breaker. Oh my, well, yeah, but like there's a difference between just smelling and then like nice and smelling good. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, like a so good true. smell. Yeah. Yeah. Was it. Yeah. It's felt like expensive as well. Yeah, that's about to say if you know they can, like if they've got a good taste. Yeah. In like whatever you call it, cologne. 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 I think I look like a bit of a baby with my hair like this. Yeah, you look really cute and young. Do you think? Do you think I'm a bit too old for that now? No, because you're quite like it's like kind of a trend at the moment, isn't it? Like that kind of cool hairstyle. What two hair clips on the side of your hair? No, but it's just cute, isn't it? Very busy out today. It's oh yeah, I really want a convertible mini. Yeah, that boy had a convertible. Was it a mini? Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was. And it was a convertible. Then you're meant to be. Yeah. No, I do really want that. No, I'm not going to be with someone because of their car. Yeah, I haven't vlogged in so long, guys. I feel like there's so much to catch up on. Like obviously everything's now open in London. I haven't vlogged since then, so I had like a proper glow up the last week or so we got our nails done um get my hair done next week and my lashes and my eyebrows done at sapphire they look amazing by the way i'm so happy with it like even when you don't wear, have any makeup on your eyebrows and everything looks so good yeah that's why she's that's why i love her so much. i know i need really need to actually i'm gonna message her you know now come in with me next time i go in when are you going in next um, a couple weeks i'm gonna get a facial oh really um i don't know if i can wait that long you know <sighs> Oh, Kate. But he actually got her teeth whitened as well. Zara Style Daily tagged me in a post. Hey, that's really good. How many followers do they have? Uh, 108k. <gasps> Go on, B. Oh, Christ, no. <laughs> oh, really sorry. Oh, I'm really proud so of good. you. Well done. Thanks, Mum. Oh, yeah, B's now back to work in the office. I am. Um, so it's really, it's just like quiet in the day, it's strange. I'm only about four days a week though, so we still have one day of fun. Yeah, we do have one day of fun. Although I didn't really spend it with you yesterday, but. No, I think you'll get used to it pretty, like you like being on your own, so I think you'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be okay. Well, you did text me the first day back, me and I miss you. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah. Um, like it, when you come home from work, I just feel like we have so much to talk about. I know, and I don't know why, because I only go to work, you know? Yeah. To be fair, I talk to you about work though. You talk to me about your work. That's true. But I really feel like we have like a full on hour of just sitting on your bed and talking about the day. It's just really nice. Yeah. Oh! Oh! oh the pigeons are so close today. I'm really excited for an apple spritz or something. Oh, really? Yeah, which is quite surprising because I'm quite hungover. Yeah, but you went um, out last night. I went to Camden, which I never venture out that far. Um, and it was like busy, it was buzzing. Really? Yeah, like, it was, the vibes were good. Oh, yeah, it was nice. 
It's really weird when I don't go out with you, though. Yeah, I know. I feel like I have a different life. Don't go wasting your rainbow. Please waste the whole night. I'm sorry. Go to the next bit. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I said the next bit. <laughs> Now every man I see is a potential threat. It's almost five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, we could do that really nice road of all of the blossom cherry. Cherry blossom. <laughs> five o'clock. Candace, are you ready? Martina, are you ready? Beyonce, can you hear this? <laughs> Michelle, can you handle this? Kelly, can you handle this? I don't think you can handle this. And look at this road guys, how stunning. All of the pink cherry blossom, just so pretty. Hello guys, good morning and happy Sunday. I'm actually uploading this video today, so whatever you're up to today, I hope you're having a good one. As promised earlier in the video, I'm gonna do a bit of a Invisalign chat and go through everything with you guys. I did a big Invisalign Q&A over on my Instagram the other day, so I'll leave those in my highlights and link it down below in case I don't answer any questions you guys might have. But of course, if you do have any other questions, just leave them down below and I will get back to you. So yeah, I've had my new teeth for half a week now and I'm so, so happy. I'm just looking at them now in the viewfinder and I am just ob. I know a lot of you have been with me from the start of this journey because I've been vlogging it all and, and showing it on my Instagram or anything. But just to refresh your memories, I have had Invisalign since um, July last year. And the reason I got them done in the first place is because I had braces when I was a bit younger and basically, as I've grown older, they have just moved slightly, which is, which is partly just to do with me not ever having a wire put in behind my teeth. It's also because with the retainers you're given, you have to wear them every single night. And, and if you have retainers, then you'll know how easily they break. I think I broke mine quite a few times and they're about 250 pounds to replace, I think, every single time. I wore them every night Night, but it kind of just got to a point where I think because they were broken my teeth were moving with them anyway and I just stopped wearing them and this tooth became so misplaced it was literally hanging out my mouth um, and it was just really frustrating I guess from going from having perfectly straight teeth I wouldn't say my teeth were wonky or anything but they just weren't how they were and that was quite frustrating so I initially went to Dr. K because I was just thinking I'll get this one filed down my two bonded teeth re-put on just from where they had been quite discoloured and they just weren't put on very well either um, and I thought that'd be fine but when I went to Dr. K she kind of explained to me that Invisalign would be the best because basically it will stop my teeth moving further and further and it's just better to get everything perfectly aligned rather than trying to like mask everything and do you know what she was completely right I'm so glad I listened to her and went and did the whole Invisalign treatment. So I had 11 trays and I was replacing them every two weeks and then once you get to the end of that you have a bit of a review and sometimes you need refinement trays so I had another six refinement trays and it kind of gets to that point and you are so desperate to have the Invisalign off but honestly it's so worth it just sticking out for those final few weeks or however many weeks you might have and you really do notice the most difference right at the end so it's definitely something you need a lot of patience for um, but honestly I've said it before but towards the end it got to the point where I was actually preferring having the Invisalign in over out because I was that used to them as well right at the beginning of your Invisalign treatment you get these attachments on the sides 
of your teeth which basically speed up the process and make the Invisalign more effective. They are a little bit annoying but they're honestly very minor and you get used to them quite quickly which is really good. And then right at the end of my treatment I got the Philips Zoom whitening so that's when you sit in the chair at the dentist and you have like this big thing going in your mouth with a UV light and the 22% Philips Zoom gel and it gets your teeth a good few shades whiter but then you go and take a, a whitening kit home and you do it at home every single night for I think maybe two weeks or something or until you're happy with the shade of your teeth. A lot of you guys warned me that this gives you severe sensitivity. Luckily for me I didn't have any sensitivity but the one thing I did have that I've already spoken about on my Instagram is the most bizarre cringing sensation when touching anything dry. This was only happened a couple of times but one day it happened so bad I literally just could not function I just had to lie in my bed and my eyes closed and think about things that weren't dry and I know that sounds really weird but anything that was like paper or cardboard or or like anything that would create a cringing sensation like cotton wool even would just send me up the wall and it's just bizarre I cannot explain it but if you've gone through it you will know how horrible it is. It's just odd. Um, but luckily that only lasted half a day and now I'm left with lovely white teeth. And then the final stage of the Invisalign was Dr. K then taking off my old bonding, which was very discolored because basically it picks up stains very easily. So anything like red wine or coffee is going to gradually stain the bonds. And unlike your real teeth, you can't whiten bonds. Once they're on, they're on. The same with veneers. So if you ever see anyone who have a full set of veneers or a full set of bonds, then you will know that they're lying because they don't change colour. And the reason you do the whitening before the bonding is so that when you get the bonding on, they can match it exactly to your natural tooth colour. So just to show you guys up close, these two here are the bonded teeth and look how nice and natural they look. You literally can't tell that they're not real. Um, my real teeth sit underneath them, but they haven't been shaved down at all. We also did shave down like some of these slightly pointier teeth just to give them more of a smooth edge. And we filed down some of the bottom teeth, like just a tiny bit. And I know filing down sounds really, really scary and like it's gonna hurt, but it doesn't hurt at all. It's literally just like filing down a nail. You can't feel it. It's only when you file down really far and you get nearer to the nerve that it hurts. But I wasn't having any of that done, so it's all good. But yeah, honestly guys, I can't believe these are my teeth. I am so happy and I love how natural they look as well. Even though they're really white, they don't look like big fake teeth and that's what I wanted. That's why I went for Dr. K as well because she knows what looks good and what doesn't look good and she's such a perfectionist and that's so important, especially with something so big like Invisalign, like it's a lot of money and it's your teeth, like your teeth are your face. It's like one of the first things people notice about you. So you just want somebody who is really going to pay attention to the tiny little details. And then the final stage is just to have a wire under here and up here. Um, and basically the wire is what will keep your teeth in place um, for the rest of your life along with wearing your retainers every single night which I am 1 million percent going to do and will never ever stop because it's just not worth it. So yeah I'm just over the moon and if anyone is considering getting Invisalign then I would just say it is so worth it and I couldn't be happier so massive shout out to Dr K, I absolutely love her. I have a code as well which gives you like £200 off a free I think free whitening, a free hygienist appointment, something like that, but it's all over on my Instagram. I'm going to end this vlog here because I now need to go edit it and upload it. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you go like, subscribe, comment, all of that. And I love you all so, so, so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.